The leaks have finally connected the dots, and if they're right, Samsung is about to make its most dramatic ultra move in years. The Galaxy S20 Sips Ultra isn't just another yearly refresh, it's shaping up to be the kind of upgrade that actually changes how you see, hold, and use a smartphone. The kind of phone that doesn't just flex specs, it redefines the idea of ultra. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sam here. If you love keeping up with the latest tech drops and hidden upgrades the big brands don't tell you about, make sure to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and of course, subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. All right, let's dive in. So here's where things get wild. Samsung isn't playing it safe anymore. The new Galaxy S26 lineup has been quietly restructured and it's a clever move. The plus model you knew, going. It's being replaced by something sleeker, the Galaxy S26 Edge. And that name isn't just for nostalgia, it's a direct nod to Samsung's classic curve screen DNA. Meanwhile, the base model gets a new name too, the Galaxy S26 Pro, which finally makes the lineup sound as premium as it performs. But the real star of this show, the one stealing all the spotlight, is the S26 Ultra. Now here's where Samsung really starts flexing. This thing is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and yes, this chip isn't just faster, it's borderline insane. Built on TSMC's 3 nanometer process, it's clocking speeds that even edge past Apple's A19 Pro in multi-core and gaming tests, GPU performance, next level, CPU efficiency, wild. You're looking at a phone that can run console, level games without flinching, edit 8K video smoother than before, and still stay cool thanks to a new vapor chamber cooling system that's reportedly 40% larger. And while the S26 Pro in most regions will be powered by Samsung's own Exynos 2600, the Ultra is keeping things consistent, Snapdragon across all markets. That means no performance divide this time, finally. But let's talk about the display, because this part is pure Samsung magic. The S26 Ultra's new 6.9 inch M14 dynamic AMOLED panel isn't just brighter and sharper, it introduces something Samsung's been quietly testing for years, a smart privacy display. Instead of just dimming or narrowing your viewing angles like older privacy screens, this feature uses AI to detect when someone's peeking over your shoulder, subtly blurring sensitive content in real time. Imagine using your phone in public, scrolling through messages or banking apps, and the phone itself knows to shield your data. That's futuristic and practical. And then there's the tech behind it, Samsung's new COE, color filter on encapsulation OLUD structure. Sounds nerdy, but what it really means is this thinner layers, more light, less power drain. You're getting sharper colors, deeper contrast, and better battery life all in one hit. Bezels, practically invisible. For a phone this large, it feels almost like holding a slab of light. Now, flip it around, and the camera setup tells another story. One of Samsung's most thoughtful upgrades yet. The main 200MP sensor now opens up to an f1.4 aperture, a huge leap from the previous f1.7. That means up to 47% more light intake, and if you've ever struggled to capture low light shots on older galaxies, this one's gonna change that. The 5X periscope camera also gets a boost with a brighter f2.9 lens, while the 3X telephoto steps up to 12MP. These small, sounding changes actually add up to massive real-world results more dynamic range, sharper portraits, and improved edge detection even in dim scenes. And the design, let's clear the confusion right now. A ton of leaked photos floating online are clearly AI generated, but the credible renders from OnLeaks and Android headlines show what's likely the real deal, and honestly, it's stunning. Straighter edges, a flatter top and bottom, and an even more premium titanium frame that feels like Samsung took notes from both Apple and its own Fold lineup. It's sleek, minimal, and industrial, like the kind of device a billionaire CEO would casually drop on a marble table. Battery life's another area Samsung's quietly upgrading. The S20 Sips Ultra is now packing a 5500 Mia cell with a jump to 60W fast charging. Finally, that's a solid upgrade from last year's 45W cap, meaning a full charge could now take under 40 minutes. Combine that with the more power, efficient display, and Snapdragon chip, and this might be the first Ultra in years to truly last two days with normal use. Now, I know a lot of people have been wondering about colors. And this year, Samsung's spicing things up. Leaked info suggests at least three new finishes, including a bold tangerine orange that's already making waves online. It's bright, energetic, and very un-Samsung, which is exactly why fans are loving it. There's also a deep titanium gray and a soft sky blue variant rumored for early release. 
As for the rest of the lineup, the S26 Pro will feature a 6.3 inch AMOLED with HDR 100 on whoops, 120H refresh rate, and for 300 my battery, it's expected to start around 8000. The S26 Edge, with its 6.7 inch curved display, 200 MP main sensor, and sleeker form factor is rumored to cost around hundreds of thousand. And the S26 Ultra, with all its upgrades, is aiming for about orange 300. But with the new performance, display tech, and faster charging, Samsung might just justify every dollar of that price tag. And here's the thing Samsung's not done. According to sources inside the supply chain, they're already testing a variant with graphene enhanced cooling, something that could make its way into the S26 Ultra or Fold 7 next year. If that happens, we might be looking at the dawn of truly sustainable, thermally stable flagship devices. So while some brands are busy throwing out minor refreshes, Samsung seems to be preparing something bigger, a flagship that actually feels like the future of Android. A phone that's smarter, faster, cooler, and somehow still more personal. The official launch is still a few months away, but with every new leak, the S26 Ultra looks less like a rumor and more like Samsung's ultimate statement piece. The kind of phone that doesn't just compete, it sets the tone for what's next. Which model are you most hyped about? The S26 Ultra, the Edge, or the Pro? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's see which one's getting the most love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because we've got more exclusive S26 updates coming your way soon.